going to be going over how to use the uh, UV vises, the Vernier UV vis. So, when you first get your UV, you need to plug it into the computer, like so, using the UV or the USB port, right? And then you need to make sure that you open the right software. So there are different types of software on here. Uh, for this computer, you have IR, uh, conductivity, all that. But there's two spectrophotometry softwares. You need to make sure you click on the Vernier software, not the Pasco. The Pasco will not work. Um, so you open the Vernier software. You make sure all of these lights are on. And then we let it kind of connect. It takes a minute sometimes. Okay. Um, and then depending on your experiment, um, you, for the inorganic lab, you'll be using the absorbance, but sometimes you may need the transmittance or the fluorescence. We'll start here. Um, and then we'll do versus wavelength just to see the full spectrum. Okay. And then it takes a minute to, for the lamp to warm up. Um, while you're doing that, I would recommend prepping your solutions. We have two over here that we will be using. This is our plank, which is just DI water, and then this is our sample in DI water. And make sure we wipe it down with a Kim wipe so we don't see any fun fingerprints on the side. Right? So that's good enough. Um, and then you'll see on your cuvette, I don't know if it's showing up on the video, there's a little triangle that kind of tells you how you should orient your cuvette. Some of our cuvettes will have um, a thinner area on the side, um, not this one, but make sure that you're angling your cuvette properly. Okay, so you match that arrow up with this arrow over here. You can kind of see the light source coming from this side and finishing over here. Then you load that in, and then you go and click finish calibration. Okay, so. We ran our blank, um, so now we go to collect. Oh, this is our blank right now. Um, obviously, we're not seeing too too much. It's all very low absorbance. And we can hit stop, and then we'll add our sample in, right? So here is our sample. Um, make sure you know where you're expecting your first peak. Wipe it down with the Kim wipe and then line up the arrows again, okay? Now you can go to collect, and you sh should see, mm -mm. I mean, this is a little bit lower of a baseline that I'd like to see, but you still see your lambda max in the right place. So once you have this data, you can stop. All right, so, when you want to export this data, right, you can export for graph one and then export as a CSV and then save CSV, which, um, and then whatever file you want to save it as. So I'm gonna save it as test two, right? So save. And then you can open You can open in Notepad and then copy over to Excel.